Sagittarius, it's Joe from Angels and Ancestors and Dies. This is your What the Fuck reading, 24th of May through to the 6th of June. I am keeping the readings fortnightly for a little while longer. Um, I'm taking a week off for work and I'm just going to have a week off completely. Um, so these will go up within plenty of time for the following fortnight. Um, so yeah, so let's get on with your energy cards. That's week one. And week two for Sagittarius, please. Thank you. Oh, nice. So, my lovelies, the first week you have got, it is what it is. So something's going to present itself to you. Um, and it's going to leave you in the feeling of, well, it is what it is. There's nothing I can do about it. Um, they're saying hold fire because the six is um, numbers of balance. It's kind of like um, ride it through for a little while. Just see what happens. Um, it may surprise you. It may That door may open and it may surprise you about what's behind it because you've got roots of abundance coming in um right in beside that so hold fire it may look like a door is shut on you but i do get the essence that maybe as you're thinking it is what it is another door will open for you that's really nice sag so in the second week darling you've got let it go no matter what's ailed your heart no matter what you think has happened around you let it go and let your heart just grow just let it have space let the debris grow go let the they are hummingbirds and i've seen these in real life they're gorgeous they're tiny little things but it's almost like they've got a skipping rope and they're getting that heart to skip with them and they're just saying just whatever it is that ails you just let it go have the fluttering heartbeat of um a hummingbird and let it skip a beat. Just let it skip a beat. So, my lovelies, let's get your cards out for the what the fuck reading. I'm going to have what started what the fuck for Sagittarius for this week, please. And then, lovelies, you're facing your fears and taking your power back for Sagittarius, please. And Sagittarius going to face their fears. Thank you. And then your manifestation wish fulfillment. And then your movement, your journey. Where the fuck you need to be, Sag. Okay. And then what you can do about the situation. Nice. What's out of your hands for this fortnight? Oh. Oh, sorry, darlings. Not that blooming tripod. I'm trying to not do it, and I went and did it anyway. I hope that's back to where it was for you. So, reconnecting to your true self. And then this one came out as well. And I'm going, because I caught it in the crook of my arm, would you believe? So that is your outcome. So, my darlings, what started your what the fuck? You've got seven of the famous. This is a journey towards a brand new way of living, a brand new way of life. It could be physical, mental, emotional, spiritual, essential, or a combination of all those things. But you are looking over your shoulder where you came from. You understand where you came from. You appreciate where you came from. But now it's your turn to set up your life the way you want your life to be set up. This is seven blessings. You know how I feel about the sevens. They're very magical to me. Beautiful spiritual number. And it's seven blessings, seven choices, seven options that is coming your way to allow you to achieve what it is that you want to do in your future. So facing your fears and taking your power back, 
you've got the ace of a thames. this is you using your athame to draw down energy so you can cut out what no longer serves you to allow your beautiful seeds to go off and grow um, that little field mouse has got the utmost trust that that dandelion can hold its weight while he watches the seeds go off into the distance to be fertilised and turn into beautiful dandelions. Darlings, I have to say, that is such a good card for facing your fears because perhaps you haven't done away with the debris or haven't done away with what no longer serves you and this is your opportunity to cut it out once and for all and allow those new thoughts, those new ideas, those new passions and desires to grow. And I'm kind of getting that these two are interlinked with it is what it is. I'm, I'm kind of getting that you haven't let things go so you haven't seen the roots of abundance because you haven't cut away enough to see down into the roots. You need to not just prune back, you need to like really cut back in order for this stuff for you to grow. So your manifestation, your wish fulfillment, you've got the two of wands, this is a fire sign card. Darlings, the two of wands is you stepping out of your comfort zone and going out on a quest. Now again, it can be physical, mental, emotional, spiritual or sensual or a combination of all those things. Now you're not going to go on this quest on your own. There is somebody else along for the journey with you. It could be somebody you are really passionate about. But I kind of got the essence that the passion around this person isn't just because of in love. Your passion around this person is because they bring a lot of energy to you, Sag. They, they actually, they harness your inner fire um, and they're able to get you G'd up and moved on. Whereas sometimes you feel like your flames are going out. They've got that extra bit of oomph to kind of fan the flames almost um so it could be a fire sign uh sorry not a fire sign an air sign that is around you that does this now i'm not getting particularly that it's a love interest i am getting it's somebody that you do love big difference between being in love and loving somebody so my darling sage what can you do about the situation You've got the one, you've got the witch. This is asking you to go back to basics. You need to learn to reprotect yourself with a circle. Work with all the elements, everything that you want to work with. You know how to conjure up a spell, but they're saying they've become too complicated. Go back to basics. When you're manifesting, you're wish fulfilling, go back to basics. Don't make it complicated. Keep it to the KISS method. Keep it to the, honestly. And what they're asking you to do is if you're in doubt about anything, don't move. Don't move. Don't look with your eyes. Hear with your ears. Don't try to map out something. If it's not working out, just be still. Take a breath and use your intuition. Go deeply within to find out what your next move should be. And what you can do about the whole situation. You stepped out of the witch into the priestess. Go figure. She's this priestess who knows that the standing circle is there for her protection. She draws energy down from the moon to illuminate things for her. And her intuition is very strong. And she adds to that cooking pot um, intuitively she doesn't need a recipe book and she certainly doesn't need to learn from books she just instinctively knows what is right and wrong and I'm kind of getting for you that it's they're saying use your instinct use your intuition use your instinct um, to make this decision because this this is life-changing this decision it is life-changing um, but you're you're just in that mode at the moment if it is what it is but you just haven't cut away enough to see what else is coming towards you so darling what is out of your hands at the moment do you know normally i would say with the six of the theme is that um you're looking across the, the waters that are now calm um straight to your future 
what I'm getting with this card this time is, yeah, you've moved into Carl Walters, um, but you're looking like, well, where is my future? What, where am I going with this? Because you're seeing, seeing it from almost a veiled perspective. You look at that, that door is not clearly visible. It's veiled. There is something that is just a film over the front of it. And it's similar with your future. So the universe is just holding it for you for the time being. Because they're saying once the clarity comes and you see this clearly, where it, where it is that you need to go, what it is that you want to do, um, it will move into the rest of your reading. So darlings, reconnecting to your true self. Sag, family is everything to you. You know that your family will pull together for family members. You know that all the generations equally invest in the family, whether that's financially, whether it is um, around careers and jobs, whether it's the home life. Um, but you, you've got this understanding that that's how family should be and that is how um, your family is. Now, when I say the word family, I don't want people hung up on their blood relatives Families can just be the tribe you choose to be around you. Because their, that their values coming from all different walks of life um, are going to set you up with a whole new load of values. Um, so don't be worried. And I don't want people screaming up going, I haven't got a family or my family shit. Take it from me, my family shit. There's no way that that card would ever stand up with my family. But the family I choose to have around me my friends, my colleagues, that would stand up in really good stead. So think about it before you kind of leave and go, oh, that's not for me. Um, think about who else is around you that would ensure that the family is safe, that the tribe is safe. So darlings, the outcome, what the fuck is happening next? You've got the world tray. Um, now, this could be a cycle coming to a close. The tree splays out across night and day. So it could be within 24 hours. It's, it splays out over all seasons. So it could be a seasonal thing. But know that the roots go deep, deep, deep into the earth. The serpent is there for luck. Whatever this is, um, there is a cycle closing. But something is... So if the, if the moon is coming up and the sun's going down... Know that when the sun comes up, something will have changed. Um, if you're going out of one season into another season, which you are um, through May into June, you're stepping into the summer season, the growing season. So know that there may be something that is going to happen in the next few months for you. So, darlings... Week one and week two. So, my lovely origins, remember your roots. How many times have you got roots in this reading? That's lovely. And then you would journey, branch out to new worlds. What was we saying about the branches of this tree splaying out? Branch out to new worlds. Wow. that's week one. Oh, that's week two i have no idea why they did that anything else for sag no they flick those out really quickly Surely master, intend and create. Oh no, it's not, sorry. It's be graceful in movement and action. I like this card. Animal guardian, trust your instincts. That's what they're saying here. Trust your instincts. And lastly, night, be brave and honest. There you have your reading, my darlings. 24th of May through to the 6th. 
of June. Wherever you are in the world, please be safe and I will catch you in the next reading. Bye for now.